Hello you guys! Welcome back to another video! <laughs> um, I know I said before that uh, we weren't gonna move houses. I lied! So if you guys couldn't already tell by the title, um, yes, we did move houses and this is our new 2023 house tour this house is not complete whatsoever it is just like 70 percent complete so yeah there's about three rooms that are not completed to be fair though we did live in the other house for like five almost six months real lifetime and um i got bored of it if i get bored of something i'm gonna leave it what am i gonna do with something that i'm bored you know but anyway, guys hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you do end up enjoying today's video please consider subscribing it is totally free as well as liking today's video and commenting down below any of your ideas or suggestions you guys believe I should put into the empty rooms, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, we have this beautiful big gate. We have a camera up there and a doorbell system. Follow me inside the house. The house has seven bedrooms and four bathrooms. It's a little bit on the lower side for my liking, but you know what? It's fine. This is probably one of our smaller side houses than others. I say that our last house has been the most biggest house that we ever owned. No, I'm not complaining. This house does have high ceilings, which I am in love. Do not get all excited because this house, like I said, is only 70% completed. Are you guys ready to see the house? In three, two, one. pattern that i wanted to add to the driveway but i forgot if you guys can already tell the landscape and the gardening of this is so bland blander than london's food i'm just kidding <laughs> but like there is like no flavor in this garden like no we need roses we need flowers we need greenery follow me to the front door when you step in will you step on these three steps and let's go ahead and step inside i didn't really know how to decorate the foyer so i just added a fireplace beautiful chandelier a little couch with a coffee table a rug and then over here we have our big mirror with our beautiful plant out of the whole entire house i'm just gonna say that this is my favorite spot so you go up and you make it into this cute kind of cafe type place where you can sit and have a beautiful overview of the kitchen and we even have a whole waterfall that was installed which is crazy and so much more is going to be added you make your way into our main dining table which we are probably gonna never end up using but this is such a beautiful dining table i love it i this is my first time going with the almost all black dining table and i just feel like the color black is like really beautiful you know let's move on to the kitchen which is hands down gorgeous like <gasps> this is my kitchen i am in love with it a marble counters our fridges are over there we have these lights which i installed myself which is like kind of crazy and you make your way into the pantry and it's just beautiful we have some wine glass up there which is wow this curved door do you do you see this do you see this curved door oh my gosh oh my goodness oh my goodness and like I was saying, you can see the overview of the little cafe. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Da -da 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 -da. This is our gym, you guys. Again, something that we're probably gonna never use, but we don't talk about that part, okay? So this is our gym. Most likely, this is where James is just gonna be here 24-7 not me though um we have some weights towels more weights punching bag treadmill mat and a lot of storage space over here this is our first room that we run into that is not done this is london's room but i'm gonna give you guys an idea of what i mean high ceiling just so you guys get an idea of what i mean by high ceilings this is high ceilings i was gonna make it three stories high but you know i said it on two <laughs> we make our way into winter's room and her room is 80 percent done let me just say i am in love with this room do you see this girl's room? She has her desk with this beautiful chair that was expensive. But you know what's fine. Her beautiful bed. She has a little chilling area here. How do I even start by saying you go up some stairs? And you make it to her second story room. Where she contains her vanity. More clothes. This girl is so lucky. Moving on to our first guest bathroom. You have your toilet, your shower, and your sink high ceilings now we're in our closet slash laundry room and let me tell you i might now be motivated to actually do laundry let me just say kidding i'm never motivated but it's gorgeous ready are you guys ready like wow i just like i love it i love it i just love it so much i just i have no words to explain i'm just gonna let you guys see it and that's it <laughs> ready three two one oh wow do you guys see this i love it so much oh my goodness i better see my kids doing laundry now 
please don't hesitate to leave your suggestions down below or ideas so we can fill up this empty room this is our second guest bathroom slash main bathroom beautiful and again speechless i'm just gonna let you guys look at it for yourselves beautiful sink our bathtub with this amazing beautiful view of course we have curtains for privacy wow you guys i like just have no words for this bathroom it's gorgeous i cannot wait to shower in here <laughs> if that's kind of weird but like i don't know i just have this thing about bathrooms that like i love them so much moving on this is my bathroom that is still getting constructed um right now it's under construction so we cannot go in there because it's dangerous and i'll go ahead and show you guys when it's done okay you walk down this big hallway with high ceilings like let me just go ahead raise the camera up so you guys can see like but we're gonna go ahead and go into my office so as you enter my office you are received with, again a beautiful high ceiling and a beautiful chandelier that drops all the way down at my desk with this beautiful black marble backdrop a honeycomb type of design shape for the shelf my desk a little lounge type of chilling area and this beautiful big window next stop my room <laughs> some people may call me extra and some people will agree with me and some people will just be like it's so unnecessary well good thing it's not your money that i'm spending but my money first you walk in you see this beautiful big painting sofa area i gotta sneeze <coughs> <coughs> thank you guys we then have this beautiful big fireplace against shelving unit a big mirror because i love staring at myself so much like i I love myself too much that like I want to marry myself and I have to wake up every single morning to see myself because <laughs> high ceilings of course cannot go wrong with high ceilings a big window here a big window over here and I added some LED lights because I don't know why I just I just felt like it and like beautiful big bed it is combined with two queens by the way so yeah here is my closet that i'm gonna go inside of nothing that extravagant again just like really simple some basic clothing you know a mirror in here nothing that surprising but let me show y'all something <laughs> <laughs> i had to stare into my room <laughs> um i had to knock down some walls and other rooms but you know what's fine here's the second part of my closet of all this clothing here a mirror and a big window looking out to the backyard which again is is not done but it will be done sooner or later so do not worry do not come at me and do not come and attack me thank you We make our way into the second story. Over here behind this door is when is London is Isla's room. We have her toddler bed here, her desk area, her beautiful mirror, a little place for her to sit, her bear, you know, her pictures. Oh, by the way, these pictures are gonna be filled with a lot of family photos. You have to walk across the whole world to get a James's room. James's room is very simple, but it like it feels like it's enough. He has his drawers here, his TV, his bed. Again, not an attic, it's just a wall shape. Make it look like a cave. And then his PC setup, his mirror, and his window. Now we move on to the living room. I am so excited. This is also the primarily the reason why this I why I got this house because of the living room. Like it just sold me. Ready? Are you guys ready to see? Three, two, one. Ta -da! So this living room is high ceilings again. So we have this here, a piano, a projector, another little talking area. And I decided to put LEDs on it because, you know, just for a vibe. A bookshelf all the way in the top there. I don't know how we're going to get those books down, but it's fine. These photos will be filled with family portraits and pictures and all those. So do not worry. I'm not going to lie. Primarily the reason I did get this house again is because of the window. Do you see these windows i can't even jump to the top like what let me get on this thing like even getting on this thing i can't even touch the roof this is so beautiful and i love the view we have a view of a ferris wheel over there and it's actually cute a piano which none of us are gonna ever use besides winter moving on to the outside one last room over here guys is the kids cooking room this is where they take their cooking classes and cooking lessons and this is where they can do whatever they want with their cooking room this is where they're gonna be cooking have every appliances they ever need oh, oh, oh. all righty you guys that's pretty much it for today's video so many more improvements need to happen thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you did end up enjoying it please consider subscribing it is totally free and like today's video if you did end up enjoying it comment down below any ideas suggestions anything you guys want turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video like this all my social media links are in the description that's pretty much it i'll see you guys next time and bye